Now, the Ministry of Lands and the National Lands Commission and leaders of Makweni County are currently in a closed-door meeting over the ongoing construction of the Standard Gauge Railway. The meeting has been convened to iron out issues that may affect the construction. Timothy Otieno is at the meeting and now joins us on phone. Good afternoon, Timothy. Uh, what's, what exactly is happening there? What, uh, which leaders have gone to the meeting? Uh, thank you very much, Najma. I'm here at the Crown Plaza Hotel where officials from the Ministry of Land, the National Land Commission, and the Makweni leaders are held up in talks about the Standard Gauge Railway. Uh, the people in attendance uh, as at 11 a.m. this morning when the meeting began is the Land Cabinet Secretary, Chari Chingilu, uh, Chairman of the land, uh, National Land Commission, Mohamed Sozuri, uh, we also saw Makweni Senator Tula Kilonzo Jr., as well as the Principal Secretary for Transport, Nduva Muli, who is also in the meeting. Uh, the meeting also has local leaders from Makweni County, as well as representatives from the China Road and Grid uh, Corporation, NADMA. Last week, Timothy, there was a workers' strike where they were protesting poor pay and working conditions. Do you think that maybe this meeting is about that or it will address those issues? Uh, it's, it's a bit hard to speculate about uh, the details and the agenda of the meeting uh, that now because it's a closed meeting. But uh, I believe that that is one of the issues on, this, on the discussion table. Najma, remember about 300 local workers from the China Road and Bridge Corporation did go on strike last week, and uh, remember the Standard Gauge Railway is one of the Jubilee government flagship projects, and it is a project that uh, many believe is close to the president's heart. So, and what following the president's visit to Chitwande last week, which is actually in Makweni County, is that the government does not want any form of delay in terms of strikes that may uh, delay the process of construction of of. Uh, of the gate of the standard gate really large map. I, I also managed to talk to a member of the county assembly from Makweni who had stepped out of the meeting briefly and he tells me that the meeting has been conducted of course to iron out issues in regards to uh, strikes that may emanate from this process. He also told me that uh, matters on compensation of land, private land owners in Makweni whose land had been taken by the government through compulsory acquisitions were and are supposed to be compensated. And that is also one of the uh, key aspects that will be discussed uh, in the meeting, NASMA. This also, he told me that they're also uh, going to talk about employment of locals of Makweni in the construction of the standard gauge railway. Remember, NASMA, the president uh, last week advised that uh, 50% of the 30,000 jobs that will be availed for the project should be sourced from local. So most probably that is going to be one of the key agendas of the meeting last month. Well, Timothy, maybe just to wind up, uh, can you tell me anything about the disagreement uh, between Ngilu and Swazuri on roles? Uh, we're told that Ngilu dismissed the report that was given by NLC. Are you able to just maybe give me something on that? Uh, Considering uh, it, it, it's important, that is a very good question, Najma. It's interesting because actually, Clarity Ngilu, the minister, the minister for land, did actually work in with uh, the National Land Commission Chair, Mohamed Kozuri, uh, from their body language. They seem to be in good terms. Uh, there appear to be no hard feelings, but you know, that is just in face value. In terms of details as to whether they have ironed out their issues between the ministry and the commission, as for now, it's a bit hard to determine. We we'll have to wait for the meeting to end to find out. But uh, it's important to note that indeed they came in together, and uh, the reception and the feeling is it's a mutual feeling. They were in talking terms, so to speak, Najma. Thank you very much.